Here is another skin tumor. Notice we have some very distinct nodules protruding above the surface of the skin. Here's the largest one, and here are some of the smaller ones. Notice that the surface of them may appear a little hyperpigmented relative to some of the uh, surrounding skin, but also notice how very, very well defined they are. So let's take a deeper look. Here's a section through one of those nodules, and notice how the uh, surface epidermis is normal. Well, not totally normal. You know, it may be relatively void in some skin appendages and hair follicles, but it does have a nice maturation from the basal layer all the way up to the stratum corneum. So we're not too worried about that. What we are concerned about, however, is the cells comprising the nodule, which appear to be different from the fibroblasts and collagen of the reticular dermis. These cells also look spindly. These cells show a little bit of variation in size and shape. These cells appear to have kind of a feathery uh, light cytoplasm. These cells are growing in relationship to some blood vessels. And everything here at the bottom is just normal reticular dermis with these thick bundles of collagen. This is a neurofibroma. These are neural derived cells or neural sheath derived cells. If you remember, we had a case of granular cell tumor in which we said that these were Schwann cells with a lot of granular cytoplasm. Well, these are also Schwann cells, but they have more of a spindly component like fibroblasts, so that's why they're called neurofibromas. Neurofibromas are benign tumors, but uh, they can often be found in association with genetic neurofibromatosis in which these tumors can be all over the body and cause severe damage. Neurofibromas, however, like a classical one that you see here, can also be solitary and not associated with neurofibromatosis genetic syndromes. Notice, yes, there is some variation in nuclear size and staining. Here are some of the bigger ones, darker ones. Here are some more of the nice spindlier ones. Some of these spindly cells may also be fibroblasts because, remember, we're in the dermis of the skin. Um, we said that the overlying epidermis looked hyperpigmented, but quite frankly, I do not see an increase in melanocytes here. So either this is not one of the pigmented nodules or uh, we're just, uh, or, the, or the increase in color was due to something else. This is a neurofibroma. It's a, a tumor of a Schwann cell. So if we did stains for Schwann cell markers, it would be positive. They're generally benign. Only a very small percentage of them are malignant, and they may or may not be associated with the genetic neurofibromatosis syndromes. And I thank you very much.